Welcome back, Lover Muffins. Vlog number two. So it is currently 5.29 a.m. Still in good timing. I want to get a lot of things done today. I don't have a lot of things to do, but I could make it a lot, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I have, um, of course, the, the biggest thing at the top of the list right now is the painting, the oil painting. I need to finish the sketch for the hands. And then I have uh, some digital work I'm going to work on as well. I have two Zoom calls today, and um, yeah, so this day is going to be light. I want to make some time for myself to just properly relax a little bit, maybe play a video game or something like that, just to kind of add some add some some variety, some fun into this thing. But uh, yo, know, I cannot wait until spring time. I'm looking forward to just the springtime. I'm so looking forward to it. All right, candy muffins, let us begin. Also. I gotta, I gotta shape this up yet again <laughs> because I look like someone's 37 year old father. Yeah, no, I needed to fix that, sorry. <laughs> So, so far, so good. Right now, um, I've gotten an, I got in a pretty considerable distance considering the time of day right now. I'm gonna add in a couple more shapes to kind of block in areas I need to remember where I'm gonna apply shadow and my lights and all that good stuff. I'm gonna spray some fixative over the top of this charcoal drawing. And then we're going to get to work. I have something else to do as well. Um, like some digital, just a little piece of digital work today. I want to just knock it out right now and send it off just so that it's just out out of my inbox and this is on its way so I can get my feedback and continue moving forward. Uh, and then we have the painting for later and I'm going to get back onto this. I want to at least have my darks, all of my basic colors planted on this canvas by the end of the day. Um, honestly, by the middle of the day, but we'll see how that goes. One of the things I love about digital work is that it is portable. Specifically, if I'm doing illustrative work or any graphic work, I can do on my iPad. It makes it makes my life so smooth. Um, like I can I can do work while I'm on an airplane or if I'm in a if I'm in the backseat of a car and if I have like I'm on a deadline or something like that. So much can get done because I have. I have my iPad and I use Procreate for a lot of my digital work. Of course, I use Illustrator and all those other things for vector stuff. But in the meantime, like my primary application for any digital work, for any illustrative work, it has been Procreate just off the strength of how portable it is. Now, I know there's other like Adobe has a bunch of um, apps that are within the iPad that make it portable. But my God, do I love the fact that I can do this, um, it makes it makes the life of an artist so much more simpler, you know, like to to be able to make your money and and still travel with and still travel with your business and it still not feel like it's invasive because it's a, it's on a small device. And maybe you might need a laptop or a com like a like a small computer if you're doing other pieces of work. But I mean, I have my iPad, and soon I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade my MacBook. I have a pretty old MacBook. It's time to like upgrade and um, and expand. But um, I mean, it's it's simple, you know, with with how that I how I work. I just have an iPad. I use my iPad Pro, and I have my Apple Pencil, and I get to I get to just be free. And that's one of the biggest things for me is it has always been being able to be free. Like if I cannot be free as an artist then I, I'm, I'm not going to do it. And I was never going to be the type of guy that would be working 30 years in a call center or 30 years. I'm, I'm not doing that working for someone else. Like I need to be doing this for me. So the fact that I, I have what I need is, 
you know, just it's just a moment of reflection of like, oh my gosh, like I, I really have it made right now. Um, and especially with COVID, like it really it helps a lot of us who do digital work. A lot of us are are in have been in our glory for the past year, you know. And so that's that's why I have transitioned a bit more from canvas work to more digital work because I need to go. I need to I don't need my my creative freedom to feel like work. And if it doesn't feel like work, then I am all the way for it. I don't mind taking on different opportunities and, and working with different clients in a digital sphere because it doesn't feel like work like that. And especially when I'm on top of everything, it never feels like work. It is Pisces season. So what I do every month on my podcast is I cover every zodiac sign. I talk a little bit about them for like a good 10 to 15 minutes, I think, per episode. And I talk about their qualities and things I like, maybe things I dislike. I give a little love, a little bit of tough love, whatever you want to call it. But this month, this month is Pisces season. You know, you know, I'm sun sign Pisces. You know, I got the Leo rising and the Sag moon. But uh, I figured I'm going to, uh, I think I'm a podcast today. I think I'm a podcast today about about my my Pisces siblings. We'll see. We'll see. I'm not certain, but you know. So if you aren't subscribed or if you don't listen to my podcast, you can find it anywhere. You can find it on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google uh, Google Podcasts. You can find me on Anchor. You can also find me on iHeartRadio um, and pretty much everywhere else. Stitcher. Radio Public, a bunch of those different spots. So check for me there and um, yeah, get some loving, some extra loving. I talk about a bunch of different things. I mean, it's it's taken up its own like body as more of a self-helpy development -y kind of thing, but I try to kind of, you know, but that's that's not all of me. You know, I'm, I'm everything else. So I love fun things. So there'll be random conversations in there too, so. Feel free to give the podcast a listen, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Of course, I love feedback. Let me know. Let me know what you think.
to call it a night tonight. You know, I've had a lot going on. I had a lot completed with the exception of spraying the fixative on the canvas. I got a lot done. I'm ahead of all of my tasks. I'm happy about that. And um, I got great feedback from the art I did submit, from the graphic work I did submit. And I'm just, I'm staying ahead of the game. Got amazing news for work I'm working on right now. Um, I'm so excited to share the things that have taken place. I'm just, I'm being respectful of other people's um, announcement schedule. So I'm gonna keep my mouth shut for now. So I think I'm gonna just, you know, get myself together, get myself ready for bed and uh, start tomorrow fresh. All right, lover muffins. Until such time, I'll catch you later. Bye.